Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to into episode 3 of Send Me Girl, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I know someone's gonna make a joke about this big thing of water. That's fine. What you thinking about? <laughs> Walking. Oh. Oh, roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you get the win? <laughs> Freaking key job. To the music park. Yes. Disney World. You love it. <laughs> of course you would. You know, anyone who says that, especially, like, literally, that usually means that you're possibly afraid. <laughs> so true. Yes, 100%. I can't even remember any time when I was a little kid and I went to a theme park and I cried over it. Yeah, I'm not a what's your thing. Mm, was he really? Because, you know, we say that. I mean, we have to accentuate the body. I'm just saying. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's no reason to wear school uniforms. It'll be like a weekend. You don't have normal clothes? 
I mean, AG, you ain't got no dang shorts. I thought he was crying. <laughs> but also with another girl, so it's fine. They're not really going on a date. It's a woman. <laughs> My whistle tone. He need to go do something else, like, to make him calm down. <laughs> Naki win. Are you seriously wearing your school uniform? Oh, you look so cute. I'm not sure, baby. Unlike you, you're- AJ, you're wearing your school uniform! Of course, I'm not able to say something like that. Like, mm. <laughs> Somebody. Of course, because you just want to see them date. Is watch him. <laughs> she wears the freaking Tommy Key from Orion. <laughs> oh, you look so adorable. Yeah, there you are. Come on. Oh my god, they moved with me. Poor AG. <laughs> You're supposed to be Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I don't think that would count though, but none of us upset. Oh. No. And you guys do look like a couple. Taking pictures.
Very dark tea, you know. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they would have been found out. But, like, oh, God, he had to ruin the moment by saying, oh, you're not wearing shoelaces. You're not wearing sneakers, silly. But, like, you could have just went in and just kissed. But no, you ruined the moment, AG. Like, what is wrong with you, boy? This is now the second time you ruined the moment between you two. Last week was about farts. This week's about the dang shoelace thing. Oh, you ain't got no shoelaces. Boy. Man. Man, boy. No. Nanako's dad. I can't. <laughs> I'm no no my dad never did that. It was more of my mom. <laughs> but if there are some real life dads who possibly cry and freak out over the fact that their child is growing up and going on a date, I think that's super cute. <laughs> that is so adorable. Like I was not expecting that at all. But you know, I mean it's Nanako's dad and he's very like in a way protective of her and very emotional over her. So you know <laughs> when it's a girl's first date or whatever. Mm, daddy gotta be like, no <laughs> just wait. Wait until she gets her kids, cause like I'm hoping and praying. That within these 12 episodes that she does get to kiss AG because you can just th there's so much sexual chemistry between the two that it's like come on like drop a freaking I'm gonna do tweezers but like a pin come on it's there like everyone knows that it's there like oh my god AG is just he's so stupid to think that no 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 mm -mm. we're just friends Mother ever, if you just friends, what uh, what am I? <laughs> Who does that? They're like, oh god, the same but I think deep, 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 deep inside AG, like he he does like her, but he just I think has a harder time of showing his emotions rather than medical. Because I mean and, and sometimes it could be the opposite. Like with girls, sometimes we have a little more harder time expressing our feelings. To the guy that we like, and sometimes it is the opposite because I don't know. Maybe with boys, um, from like some of my guy friends who have confessed to some of their girlfriends, they say that um, they're a little bit scared because of the fact that they don't know like how the girl or whoever is going to react to it, and it's the same thing that we think when we're doing that. But it's like just say it. I know it at first it's scary, but then you never know. But hopefully, like throughout, maybe. Maybe by episode 6, he might say the words. I don't think so, but maybe either 6 or 12 before the show ends. He's going to say it. They're going to kiss. And I'm just going to die happy. And then I'm going to cut to or just going to fangirl over on the side and ish. <laughs> I mean, I can see Amane, like, fangirling a lot over it because I mean, hell, she, like, intervened. <laughs> Like, are you stupid? <laughs> Which is so true. I just, I hate the fact that he just ruined that moment. And then next thing you know, we're going to get into episode four next week. And he's going to say something even worse than the farts. And the, like, oh, you're not wearing shoelaces, silly. And then I'm just going to be here so dumbfounded, stupid. Because, like, I really, 
really don't like what you say, AJ. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 3 of Send Me a Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday for episode 4. Bye, guys.